Do you guys know what one of the best beginner treats to make in the kitchen is? It's fudge. Now, I know that sounds like a shocker because a lot of people think that it's complicated, it's scary, it involves candy thermometers and scorching sugar, but that's actually not true. Now, there are some recipes that are more complicated than others, but there are also certain recipes that are super simple and super delicious, like the one we're going to use today. You don't need a candy thermometer, so go ahead and take a moment to rejoice. Yeah, I did too. Plus, you only need a handful of ingredients. Now, we could just make plain old chocolate fudge, which is delicious, of course, but me being the smart cookie cook, I gotta put a spin on it. So we are going to be making Almond Joy fudge. Yep, that's right. It's going to be based on your favorite childhood candy, the little Almond Joys. So we'll have ourselves a nice smooth and fudgy chocolate base, then we'll top it with a coconut filling that's going to be just like the kind you find in Almond Joys, sweet and coconutty and creamy. And then we'll finish it off with little crunchy almonds that we toasted up fresh in the oven to bring out their nutty flavor. Now, I've been waiting all week to make this fudge, so I'm not going to waste another second. I'm going to get started. So the first thing we're going to make is the coconut topping. I have two and a half cups of the shredded coconut that you get at the store. Then I have sweetened condensed milk. We have seven ounces of this, and we're going to pour it straight into the coconut. Somebody told me that they actually drank sweetened condensed milk as a kid. Like, they put a straw in the can, and it was like this great treat for them. As much as I like sweet and condensed milk, I feel like that would be sickening, but <laughs> whatever. Okay, and then we're going to add a tablespoon of vanilla. Vanilla goes in everything. Okay, and I'm going to add a cup of powdered sugar. This is going to kind of thicken it. So we're just going to stir this all together. It's going to be really hard for me to not just eat this straight out of the bowl. Like, I don't even want to wait until the fudge is ready. This is a great summer candy recipe because of that coconut. Coconut just says summer. Now all I want to do is stick this in the freezer to firm up and while well, that's doing its thing, we're going to get started on the fudge base. Alright, it's time for the fudge part of our Almond Joy fudge. So all I'm going to do is take this fluff, this is a whole can of marshmallow fluff, I'm going to put it into this pot here, okay, and then we are going to add sugar. This is two and a half cups of sugar. I have a half a stick of butter or a quarter cup. This is a five ounce can of evaporated milk. And then we just need a half a teaspoon of salt. You see how simple these ingredients are? I bet you already have them sitting in your pantry right now. Now what we want to do is get this over medium heat. We're going to bring it to a boil for five minutes. Then we'll take it right off the heat and we're going to stir in the chocolate. The only thing you really want to be careful of is not to boil it longer than five minutes because then you will start to scorch it and your fudge is going to come out crumbly instead of fudgy. Now we're also saving the vanilla extract until after we boil because if we put it in now, vanilla extract has a tendency to burn really easy. Now you want to make sure you keep stirring constantly because even if you just let it sit for a couple minutes, once it gets hot enough, it's very easy for it to burn and we don't want burnt fudge. See everything's starting to come together already. Now when you're stirring, you want to make sure that you're scraping the sides like this, getting into those corners because that's where the mixture is going to get stuck and start to burn. So you got to make sure you pay attention to the whole saucepan and keep scraping up the bottom. Okay, the boiling has begun. So let's see, it's 241 right now here in the Smart Cookie Kitchen. So at 246, we'll take this baby off the stove. All right, we've been boiling this baby for five minutes and it's real hot, so I'm going to get it off of the heat and the first thing we're going to do is stir in that chocolate. So I'm going to use a whole package of semi-sweet chips. You can use whatever you have in your kitchen though. If you have dark, use dark. If you have milk, use milk. We're going to stir these in until they're completely melted and the whole thing is one pot of chocolatey goo. I'm going to add in the vanilla now, but it's starting to cool down a little bit. Three quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're just going to pour this into our buttered pan. Chocolate waterfall. So I'm going to do set it to the side. And I'll see you in just a few minutes. All right, we have all our Almond Joy components ready to go here the chocolate fudge, the coconut cream, 
and some toasted almonds. I just toasted these myself. I bought raw almonds, you spread them out in an even layer on a baking sheet, pop them into the oven at 350 for 5 to 10 minutes just until you can smell them and that smell is the indicator that they are done. And toasting them gives you two advantages. First of all, it really brings out their nutty flavor, takes away that rawness and just gives you pure nutty goodness and it increases the crunch factor. Okay, so here's all we do now. I'm going to take my coconut filling we made earlier and spread it out on top of the fudge. I'm going to be gentle because the coconut's pretty thick and we don't want to wreck the fudge. Whew. I don't know if you can see, but uh, Reese is here. She's in the back. She's down. It's a hot day in the Smart Cookie Kitchen and that dog cannot handle the heat. Some days when it's really warm, you'll look at her, it just looks like she's been shot. She's lying motionless on the floor. She's all right. In fact, I'm sure if I dropped a little bit of this coconut filling on the floor, she'd be up and at it. Now that, my friends, is a beautiful sight. So our very last finishing touch that we're gonna put on top of our blanket of coconut is the toasted almonds. I'm gonna place them nice and pretty. So you wanna ensure you get at least one almond in every piece of fudge. I mean, come on. And down goes the very last salmon. Now, what you normally would want to do is stick this back in the fridge so that it can chill before you slice it up. And, you know, I'll do that. But I, I just can't wait that long. I have to try a piece right now. And I wouldn't want you guys to miss that. So let's just cut out a little personal sized piece of fudge for ourselves. Let's get my fork down in it. Ooh, you see that? See that thick layer of fudge and the creamy coconut on top? That is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Mm. Oh man, you guys. That fudge, perfect smooth texture, so rich. And that coconut is the perfect complement. Let me get a little bit of the almond this time. Guys, I'm in fudge heaven right now. You guys need to get your little butts into the kitchen and make this now. You have no excuse not to. It's super easy. You only need a couple ingredients. I can't wait to share this with my family and my coworkers. They are going to go nuts over it. No pun intended. <laughs> Next time you get hit with a sweet tooth craving that needs instant satisfaction, just ask yourself this. What would the smart cookie cook? today.